guys uh, welcome to tech design hope you enjoyed last sheet metal practice example so today i'm going to uh, make an uh, you know practice example for this model so as you can see this is also looking uh, uh, you know uh, not much difficult so uh, what i'm doing is i'm just going from uh, you know a very simple model to uh, you know uh, some complicated model so will be in future we will take uh, some complicated mouse model examples as well so this you can see here um, we have a multiple you know dimensions and this is you know unfolded view we can see with you know downward direction with a 90 degree bend and this r2 is the radius uh, that is edge radius so bend radius and also we can see here 2 mm so which is an uh, thickness of the material so let's go into our uh, you know nx and we can start uh, you know modding this so i'll just go to new file and we'll test select a sheet metal yeah here is my sheet metal and you can just click ok so when you click ok so this is the sheet metal workbench so now uh, you can see the in the model so uh, we have this you know first flange which we need to create so let me create that uh, you know flange first and we have um, uh, dimensions i think i think we can you know derive the dimensions from here you can see 90 um, by you know 200 and then we can just you know trim up the extra portions so let us make this uh, you know uh, model now so what I'll do is I'll just go to you know, sketch and then we'll select a base plane and just click OK. And first we need to create a simple you know rectangle. So I'll just say create a simple rectangle and let me make it to you know center. So I'll just go to make symmetric and this should be symmetric here. Instead of doing symmetric, I'll just give the dimensions. So let me give this dimension as a 90 and this dimension as a 200. Okay, so now I will just give the dimensions from here to here it will be 100 and from here to here it is 45. So now it is exactly at the center. We click finish so now uh, as you can see here we have this cutout so we need dimensions of this one so as you can see here this is a 50 so which is nothing but this is the 50 mm you know flange so that they have given and also we can see here 120 mm of uh, this flange so we need to you know make a uh, lines here so let me create this line these two lines as well And now let me go to make it as a symmetric so these two should be symmetric to this and these two should be symmetric to this x-axis okay so now the dimension between uh, this to this is 50 okay and also uh, the dimension between this to this is 120 So this is 120 okay so now we are, you can see here uh, this is in 120 mm which I have drawn and this is a 50 mm which I have uh, um, you know, drawn so now uh, whatever the things that are there in the extra we just need to trim that so I'll just go to trim command and these are the extra things that I'm going to trim okay so now as you can see here this is the profile that we are looking for so this profile we have uh, got now so we'll just finish the sketch and in, before finishing let me trim these extra lines as well okay so let me finish it now so we have received this one so let me go into tab and then we select this sketch and we will have uh, 2 mm of you know, thickness so I'll just go into uh, preferences sheet metal and I'll just change the radius and uh, 
thickness so this let us keep it as 2 mm and 2 mm click ok ok so now we have uh, two flanges and um, this side and this side so those two flanges are uh, you know uh, at 50 mm width and the depth is given here it is 28.29 which is in material outside so this is outside and uh, but material is inside so if you just need to understand by you know checking these uh, dimensions so now what i will do is i'll just make it as an outside and material inside with a 28.29 so let us go to flange and select 28.29 and then this is outside and it is perfect and material inside so now I need to select this okay and previously in the previous tutorial what we have discussed in the last you know uh, um, example so one of the person has asked me uh, they are unable to select uh, two flanges so make sure that uh, once this flange is selected you just need to give add a new set and then go to another uh, set of uh, edges and you need to select this edge so once you select that uh, both side you will can able to see the flanges so now i will just click ok so now uh, as you can see we have this flange these two flanges and now uh, we are left with these these two side side flanges so let me create that uh, flanges as well so this length is 50 mm as you can see here this is a 50 mm length uh, which is uh, outside which it, which is measured from the outside and but this material is inside so let me go into a flange again and select this and select this and now this is the material uh, you know outside and material inside which is of 50 mm so let us create a 50 mm and click ok ok now uh, let me hide this yeah so most simple uh, whatever we have done so far it is done now the complications comes over here so this can be achieved by making an unfold uh, view of uh, this uh, fly you know uh, whatever the model we have created so we just need to make an you know, unbend for this so in order to achieve that what we can do is we can just go to unbend here and I'm going to unbend this uh, you know stationary face and let me create this okay so I'll just click okay so now we have this face as an unbend so on that unbend the face we will create an you know um, this cutout and then we can just make it as a rebend so what we do is we'll just go to sketcher environment on this plane and click ok and now we need uh, these dimensions so you can see 70 by 30 and this 70 by 30 is uh, at the center as you can see this is the center line so which is cut out is at the center so let me create an uh, 30 by 70 which is of center so let me create in rectangle with 70 mm and then this is 30 mm okay so now uh, this point should lie on this x and y axis so go to constant uh, you know geometric constraints so point on uh, line so this point should be on x axis as well as this point should be on y axis so now it is fully constrained so we'll just finish the sketch and now i'll just go to normal cutout i'll select this sketch so this material is removed so now what we have to do is we have to make it as a uh, rebend so go to rebend and select this edge and click ok so this is very simple guys you just need to perform this action uh, when we have you know um, unbent section so also you can see here um, there is an you know a radius of 5 mm uh, let me give that uh, in this one so in order to do that what we can do is we can just make it as a current feature and then go to edit and go to edge you know uh, this radius and let me give it as 5m on all the sides now let me finish this and then 
will update this make current feature okay so this will be updated now so i'll just hide this sketch as well and now uh, at the end we have this feature as you can see here there is a flange uh, which is of uh, you know 18 mm uh, which is um, outside material outside which is material outside and then it is measured outside so both are is uh, the both are from outside only so we will just provide that so we'll go to flange and what is the length it is 18 mm so let's go to flange and keep material outside and this is also outside so let me select this face so when you selected this face as you can see uh, there is in cutout here so which should be outside so let me keep this offset as 2 mm as 2 mm okay sorry it should be bend outside so let me keep bend outside and this could be zero okay on the on this edge we don't have any we cannot see any you know cut out mm, see you can see we don't have anything you know um, corner so let me keep that corner as an uh, none so now you can see but this is not a you know usual uh, uh, good design if you have any you know uh, such a situation you should have you know bend relief so in, in case if it is not having since this is an you know uh, practice model um, we don't have any you know um, the relief over here but usually when you are wo working or if you are designing any of the you know component so you should have that uh, relief so now what is the dimension you can see there is an 18 mm of dimension so let us give that uh, 18 mm and click ok so now uh, we are left with only some of the you know edge uh, blends so we can see everywhere it is uh, 5 mm in all the sides you can see all the sides it is 5 mm so let us give the 5 mm of edge bends so it is a break corner over here and let us give bend of 5 mm so now start selecting instead of selecting uh, you know uh, these uh, uh, every corner you can just select the face so associative with that to face whatever we have adjust right all the edges will have that uh, you know edge blend so now you can see the break corner has appeared so now we can just you know select this as well and click ok so all the faces are having an uh, you know uh, corner break corner now so now we are left with only one feature that is this uh, whatever the cutout we have here so this cutout we can create a sketch and then we can make this cutout so let me go into a sketcher environment and i will just make a sketch on this flange and go to this rectangle now go to circle and from this center point i'll just create an uh, circle first you just need to try to create a simple rough uh, you know sketch and later once you provide a dimension so it will come into a proper dimension and now we have a dimension from this point to uh, this edge it is 8 mm okay and then this is at the center so let me make it center so i'll just press automatic constraints so point so this point so vertical alignment so this point and the center this point should be even vertically aligned and now we have a dimensions for uh, this edge that is 10 mm okay so now as you can see here this is 10 mm and from this edge it is 8 mm and we have uh, this is this as a 3.5 mm radius so which is nothing but 7 mm of width so let me give a dimensions of 7 mm for this ok so now what I will do is I will just uh, you know remove all the extra things so these are the extra you know 
lines we have so let me finish this sketch now I'll just finish the sketch and now <coughs> we have to so now we have to you know trim this so go to normal cutout and trim this now our entire model is completed so now as you can see here uh, whatever the drawing uh, whatever the model they have given everything is shown as you can see we are left with the one more uh, you know break corner here with a 5mm radius so let us give that now so break corner 5mm click ok ok uh, so let me create and let me select it by one by one so this is my break corner and this is one more thing okay so now oh, yeah it's almost done as you can see there are some other uh, dimensions always as you can see this is 36 which we have not used uh, and this is also 23 which is not used but if you check or uh, once the model is completed once you you know measure these dimensions uh, they all will you know uh, come in same so let me you know uh, measure this measure dimension so this flange i just wanted to measure it so let me go into projected distance along this direction from this face to this face so which is not nothing but a 36 mm so which is this 36 mm so this is how we can create a sheet metal simple model guys so in future i'm going to take uh, some difficult uh, practice models as well so do practice well and if you have any concerns you can just comment in the section below so i'll try to answer thank you guys please subscribe to my channel hit a like button